this is sort of when you should have things in place. You should have maybe tried to get that experience that you need. You should have done some volunteering, been involved, and you should be have that ongoing throughout A, A2. Make a timetable to make sure that you're getting in your study time, but at the same time, you also have an opportunity to do the things that you love. So whether that's a hobby that you've carried on with you through high school, don't just let go of that in A2. Make sure that you're balancing your time well. Also start on your personal statements really early. Focus on making sure that your personal statement is basically selling you as best as you can because you are going to have to submit it pretty much within the first month or so when you've kind of started your second year. So make sure that maybe within the summer before you start your second year that you've started to prep for your personal statement and um, that you've kind of redrafted it and brought as much about yourself in it as you can. The next step in your application process would be interviews um, and generally speaking your exams. So those should be the two things that should be the priority in, in your life at that point. It should be you preparing for interviews that be via using books for example or even practicing with your peers or even your teachers and careers advisors at your college. So I had a practice interview with my head teacher and it does put you under a lot of pressure because they are your head teacher and it's good practice for the real interview where you'll be feeling a little bit nervous. I look online to start understanding what type of questions they usually ask you, whether the format of the interview, whether it's a multiple mini interview or whether it's a standard uh, old fashioned 15 minutes, let's talk to a couple people about why you would be a suitable medical student. They might be the first interviews you've ever had in your life, but the best thing to do is practice doing those interviews because then when you sit down in front of the panel, you, you know how to talk, you know how it's going to flow. There's not going to be that many surprises. Even if you have a university offer, then you getting uh, into the university on that offer is often going to be dependent on getting good grades in your A-levels. If you haven't yet got a university offer or you weren't successful, don't worry about it. Even so, the main focus should be your A-level exams because you can, if you do well in those exams, you can then reapply with good results and that will considerably strengthen your, your application. I have a lot of friends who applied um, during their second year of A-levels to medical schools they didn't get any offers but then they went to get their good grades anyway so they had at least three A's at A level and then they reapplied and got in the second time. 